Okay, so basically the deal is, is we work with this store down the road called Aqua Studios. They're in North Dallas. They're good friends with us. Apparently a customer had brought in about seven betta fish, just brought them in. They were really busy that day and didn't know where to put them and didn't really have the time to put them anywhere. They weren't very sure if they were sick or what was going on with the betta fish. So they gave my manager, Chris, a call, asked if we could come pick them up, check them out, see if we can get them back to health and give them some new homes. So yeah. Okay, oh yeah, they have betta fish for us. Basically the situation is, Brandon is packed right now. Like, to give you an idea, they have $150 betta fish in stock. Also, if you want one of these really nice betta fish, there's a number in my description that you can call. That way you can get one. So they've got a lot going on. They've got a lot on their hands right now. So we had called my manager, Chris, and was like, hey, do you guys want to come pick these up? You know, revive them, get them to health, and then maybe we can take them later on or we can go give them to other fish stores, which is what we did before. But yeah, this is what we're working with. <sighs> and you guys like that video obviously 160 something thousand views or something like that so chris messaged it to me we're here now we gotta take them and set them up some uh, forever home yeah yes I know. noggin noggin what <laughs> i don't have any hair to protect mine <laughs> but as you guys saw them there's seven of them right here they put them in their cups and uh actually some of them look pretty nice so are they healthy i don't know brandon hasn't been able to take the, a very good look at them because they've been busy this morning but we can here in just a little bit and tell you whether they're expensive or not because you never know one of these could be like a 30 40 dollar betta fish which is what we ran into last time so this is a this is a 30 dollar betta at the pet store this midnight exactly. mail is a $30 betta. There's a dragon scale mail in here that's a $30 betta. I wasn't kidding when I said they have a $150 betta fish in right now. Like something like that, like that looks, I don't even know what that is, but like these fish are, these are some crazy, crazy betta fish. Busy, Brandon? Busy morning? Yes, very busy morning. Like even that one's dope. Snow white Dumbo. Oh, see, you know what? That's the kind like I like, like that's sick. One with the black edges that you showed me. Uh huh. Turns out those are fake as a Photoshop picture. Really? Yeah. Uh, Dang it! Yeah, I, know. I thought that I know. was real! That guy there. Wow. Oh, it's yeah. Red outline. But I thought we would come by, and because this guy was apparently just gonna get rid of them, and then he realized he had a local fish store, so we dropped him off. So we're gonna try and get these guys out of the little cups, make sure they're not sick, give them a new home. Oh, hello. Hi. Look, yeah, we got seven of them. Okay, that should be good. Are you gonna juggle them? No. You got them all? All right. There's one, two, and the last one. Three. You gonna seat belt them in? Actually, now that I think about it, I do have to seat belt them in. Buckler. Look at that. They'll look L lifted up there. Yep. All right, perfect. Look at that. Pretty seat belted. Yeah, they're safe. Should we get them a kitty seat? No. Okay, All right, let's do this, boys and girls. All right, got it. Let's head on home and give these fish a new home. Temp temporary home. Three days later. All right, hand them to me. Uh, one, two. You know what those are like? What? Those are like uh, soup containers at the Chinese restaurant. Well, that's what they're gonna be used for today. Uh, soup? Yeah. What, we're making better suit. Let's round up these little buckets. Shiver me timbers. Shiver me timbers. Woo! One, two, three, four, five. Let's do this. I love you, baby. Okay, so basically we're filling up a five gallon tub to spread the water throughout all of these. Keep in mind, we're just reviving all these betta fish, bringing them back to health, and then giving them out to people. This is the tricky situation. All right, there we go. Now, roll the time lapse. Oh, all right, so all seven tubs are completely filled up with water for the betta fish. So, I don't know if you remember from the last time we did this, we used something called almond leaves. That's what I'm getting. That's what you're getting? Yeah. Oh, so it's like super good for the fish, like as far as like, keeping them from getting sick and things of that sort. So we got that, we're gonna break them up and spread them throughout the seven tubs. It also changes like the tint of the water, but it's really good for them. <laughs> All right, so that's what it is. We gotta break this thing up, spread it throughout. <laughs> I just destroyed everybody's ears. All right. Uh, yay big. We don't have anything major. No. Maybe a couple pieces. Cause what you will see is that the betas will actually sleep yeah, on Yeah, they'll, they'll sleep on them too. It's like little beds. I'd sleep on it. Look at that, perfect. That is all we need right there. Okay, also the betta fish don't need aeration. Why is that Chris? Because they have a special organ called a labyrinth organ. They actually breathe air from the surface. Exactly, so they don't need aeration. What is a fish's labyrinth organ? According to Wikipedia, labyrinth organ. This organ allows labyrinth fish to take in oxygen directly from the air. Well, there you go. 
go. No air, no aeration needed. They really don't need aeration. So we've got all this set up. Now it's time to get them in. All of our fish are right here. And now what we're adding is some of this stuff. This is Turbo Start, you guys know. This is going to cycle this. Beta fish, they really don't need it, but it's a lot better to have it than not. You see that? That's beneficial bacteria. Which cycles these tanks immediately. And if you do not add fish, then this bacteria just dies. There we go. So Chris just left, but I still have to get all of these fish right here into their new home. So I'll zoom. So Chris just did water changes and everything. We need a net. That's the thing. As you guys can see, he is doing fantastic. This is full. This is full. All the fish are doing good. Also, guppies, we are waiting on babies. Yeah, we are waiting on babies from you guys. This tank's doing really good too, though. Okay, so here's what I got going on. I'm going to put this net right here, and I'm going to pour each cup. I'll show you an example, actually. Not going to lie, this beta fish is actually super pretty. So I'm going to pour this through there get the beta and like so it is now in wow that is actually a really dope fish you guys can see it from this angle that's a nice one now we just got to do that six more times Okay, some of them are pretty nice. So this one looks more like kind of like a cheap one. So does this, so does that. This one's pretty nice actually. That one's nice. This one's okay. I think these two though, these are the nice ones. They look a little bit more expensive to me. Like the colors on that one is super sick. And same thing with that one right there. That one's cool too. So seven beta fish are officially good to go. So we're gonna move these into the racks into the fish room. So I think that's step number, pick them up. Yeah, step number three. Okay, there's four down there, three up here, and two up there. So those two, I think, were other ones that Chris just tried to rehome. Like, off camera, I don't even know, to be honest. But all of them are looking to be doing pretty good. So I'd call that a success. But, like I said, I think this is one of my favorite rescues, is this freaking tilapia. I am in love with this thing, and he is doing so good. We had to work some stuff out to keep that fish, but uh, he's good to go. Now, if you didn't watch Chris's video, this is the new hamster cage. I don't think you guys have seen this on my channel yet. This is crazy. Crazy. So a wheel is going back there, but he's got sand. He's got all of this stuff tunnels like that tunnel goes under and comes out over here He's got all this stuff, but this turned out to be like amazing. So you got to check that out on his channel So I'll see you guys back at my house Okay <laughs> Gotta come let the animals out. Oh, no, 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 no don't close. What's up kids? Come on out. Hey guys it's cracking. And that's how I let the animals out each day. But the backyard enclosure, this is what they have to themselves behind me. Like it is a fantastic home. I 110% recommend getting mini goats if you have like an enclosure for them because they're some of the coolest animals I've ever owned. Oh my gosh, that was lamb. Oh. Now my fish room is doing good. Our Jade Goby is, uh, he, he's growing. He's growing. There's our, wow, he literally blends in. That does not look like a fish. Oh my gosh, can you camouflage? Is that what you're doing? And then of course, our figure eight puffer. I love this tank. This is my favorite tank. This puffer is a living life, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, he's doing so good. And then, the beta tank. My beta fish has been going under that background back there, which has made me upset because I can't see him as much. And I found him back here sometimes too. And I'd like for him not to die. So if you could maybe not do that. Then the peacock, everything in here, they eat like crazy. They eat really good. There's the flower horn, the arowana, red tail, water cow, and of course the goldfish breeding tank. So I hope all is well out here. Oh, what's up, buddy? What the? What's up, big guy? I need to post a picture on their Instagram. Come on, guys, let's say cheese. No, you you can't eat the camera. No, you're fog. You're eating it. Hey, Steven. Steven, you're showing me your you're showing me your butt cheeks, not your face. Nonetheless, it's a sexy picture, Steven. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. Wow, they get the camera lens dirty. Pickle boots. Tell them to subscribe or not. Yeah, if you guys went on to enjoy today's video, click the like button. Click the notification bell to get constant notifications whenever I upload a video. Like I said before, if you buy any merchandise off thefanaticbrand.com, 10% of it goes to St. Jude. Please do that. If you haven't followed me on Instagram? Follow me on Instagram. And with that being said, I will catch you guys next time. It's Wendy on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace. Thank you.